Hello, everybody. I'm Kenobi, and I'm here with my friends Chris and AJ. Hello. Yeah. And we're here for the absolute final stage of Ragnarok Battle Offline. Temporarily. Yes. <laughs> for as far as normal, regular stages go, with no gimmicks, no anything. As far as storyline goes. This really. is it. This is the final stage. So, let's head on out. Away we go. That sounded really weird coming from you, by the way. And away we go. I'm with you. Let's get going. I just recently learned how to uh, correctly move fast. <laughs> Show him, Chris. All right. He's learned the boot scooch. It's being able to dodge. It's the back step that the archers can actually have. Eventually, they have to get enough stats. I think it's like dexterity. <laughs> So here these enemies are called Kappas, which Kappas have always been pretty interesting. This entire uh, this entire level is just saturated with Japanese mythology. So anybody who's a big fan of Japanese mythology like myself, even You'll though see I'm a terrible lot at names, of things. Yeah. I love all the little Look, Japanese mythology. Frogs. Japanese even mythology. the art style on some of the enemies is very Japanese. Like these umbrella feet things. Umbrella feet. Yeah. <laughs> with face, tongue. They appear Man. in a lot of old Japanese games, especially like Legend of the Mystic Ninja, especially. Definitely in that yeah, game. Wrong direction. Oh. Fix it. I'm working on it, but you what? keep jumping ahead of me. Chris, he was oh. going the wrong way. And we want to go in the shrine. So let's find out what's in the shrine. Stage clear, new yeah. record on that. Eh, never mind. I didn't really want to go in the shrine anyway. They call that yeah. popcorn. <laughs> it is way too expensive. Oh god, where are these uh, I mean seriously, this is the this is the movie theater and they want six and a half bucks for a bag of popcorn. Ridiculous. Well, that's cheap nowadays. Oh, and but not don't mention the four and a half dollars for soda. That's stupid. And the thirteen dollars for the four butter. and a half dollar that four and a half dollar soda is actually about two ounces. You didn't know that, right? <laughs> Most it's, of the ice. And we have the return once again, Merlin, who's going to cast Storm Cloak. Storm, Storm Gust, Gust, excuse me. I want that spell on the soda. But does it do anything? Actually, no. it does, like a thousand. Wait, did you use your charger out there, Chris? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, then it does nothing. Yes. I thought I did, like, 3,000 damage, but... Nope, that was me. Ah! So, there. let's see what Merlin has to say for himself. When he warps back in, I think. Yep. What do you have to say for yourself, that pathetic act, Merlin? Wow. What? Who? Who? Wait, who? We didn't die. Alright, done. Okay, reported. Because of the corrupt GMs. <laughs> Goodbye! Yes. And from... away he goes! I'll have to show you that stage, Chris, because he wasn't there for us when we saw the, the bots. Yeah. It's so hilarious. We actually have, there's a character who's sitting down counting all the bots that are going into a stage. Then the GMs come on, they're like, we're here as your allies, we're here for your for justice and good gameplay. And, and then, then they ban, players. and then they ban anyone who starts talking after that. <laughs> Except the one girl who stays still and stays is quiet. The GM just gets frustrated that she won't talk so he can't actually ban her. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't see that. Oh yeah, it's hilarious. And then there are these GM supporters in the stage too, but they're bots. <laughs> oh god. Uh, they get banned too. <laughs> actually, you will be able to see exactly what the GMs are uh, are up to in one of the uh, very bo in the bonus stage. In the bonus stage? Yeah. Well, no, the GMs are in the bonus stage, but they were talking about an arena. That oh. they had plans with the arena. So you guys really see this. And there was a Kitsune who was possessed. Kitsunes were possessing the old woman. Which is actually very, um, very. In a sense, true Kitsune. in the Japanese mythology. Because mm -hmm. they were known to possess humans. Or take the form of humans. Yeah, take the form of humans. So. They could do both, essentially. But did they ever actually cause any trouble? You know, hey, they've been possessed or they're posing as humans, you know? Were they just there to buy some fruits and vegetables and take it back to their den or something? No, technically they were there to steal mates. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember. Don't steal my women. <laughs> don't do that. Actually, Katsunas were mostly, if not all, female. Who am I kidding? I have no women. I have no friends! Oh my god, <laughs> look at all these priests! I'm clerics. clerics There's yeah. only clerics here. I'm amongst my people! Though it feels weird, I'm the only the only non-male cleric or the only non-female cleric 
is this cleric right here, and he's dead. What does that have to say about well, what I've got right here? this one right here with the white hair and the ears? Uh, yeah. nope, that's female. Oh. See the dress? Must craft. Well, you're that wearing a dress too. Feet. Yeah, but it doesn't have those little. It doesn't have the bell form like theirs do. Ah, uh, dress. Except it just. Except it. It's more of like. Random kick. It's more of like a karate whoa, whoa, outfit. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Sorry. I was about to say, what's wrong with you? Look at these things. Or do you think these are like. They're kind of like Sohi, the things that are possessed with the black demons in them? Uh, no, they're just actually dolls. Oh. Uh, Mogi something dolls. Do you name. know about them? I just know them from the game. Okay. They're just called dolls. Yay, Shinobi! Uh, See, that one's a female too. The only male one was dead. Uh, well, that then is you should, and you should calling for help. You should be with him. Calling for a doctor. <laughs> All right, this boss is very interesting as it's only one. Of the, it's um, it's actually the only mini boss you can successfully launch into the air and attack. But you have to be fast, otherwise you can't hurt him. Uh, I forgot about the others. Uh, take that. Where'd he go? There he oh, is. There he is. Oh, how did my fireball not hit him? If he um, if he's in the air too long, his invincibility—he oh. essentially gets his own invincibility. So you have to get up there and get him fast. Must get like SP that. While I can. He's actually a very fun boss to test against against any of your combos if you're confident in this game. <laughs> nope, he's still alive. Happy. Oh, wait, something's wrong here. There we go. We must go faster. Get stronger. Yeah. <laughs> he just showed up out of our ass. He missed me. He's missing me. <laughs> uh, maybe he's maybe his attack appears above your for a bit. I think so. Stop him. Uh, here, let me try something. Yeah. 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 Aw. I saw a video of a guy who was able to do the, the kick like that, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Essentially dragging him. Oh, <laughs> he's dead. Yeah, that right there is an assassin. The one running back and forth with his arms crossed. Mm -hmm. And that priest, that's a priest right there. She has 99 vitality. She takes no damage. And this this seven. this swordsman. You're a swordsman. You should kill quick. Sheesh. Swordsman cannot kill that bomb. And here's a new task for us. Annihilate all the enemies in the area. That Weird. is so fresh and new. We've never done that before. I know. I oh, never would... Sorry. I would never guess that we had to do this. I know. It's, we never get that mission in these. It's gla I'm glad they told us. Otherwise, I would have never known to do it. Yeah. We would have been stuck I, on the stage forever. I would have just sent them a few arrows. Maybe just friendly warnings. Have little I would have contacted the developers and say, there's a bug here, I can't progress through this stage no matter how many things I do. I've tried just jumping up and down. I've tried looking left and right. I was even pressing all the buttons, but these things were always in the way, killing me. I wish I could got rid of them. Help! <laughs> hey, look, it's paper. <laughs> it's the paper ghost. It's a spirit simply possessing a piece of paper. And they hurt in the actual game. Yeah. It kind of hurts here, too, honestly. Ah, I'm already out of SP again. <laughs> Suck. I, I went from 12 yeah. this time. You're welcome, you guys. <laughs> Ow. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Aren't these things actually pretty evasive in the original game? Yes. Uh, not as much as Mimics. And, but their cards are really good, too. Their cards had an amazing setup if you put it on either of the Thief classes. Assassins, All not right. as much, but... We are now in the shrine, and for the sole purpose of, of this being the last bit, we're, we... going, we're going quiet, so please enjoy the rest of the video. Building up drama. I will <laughs> see you guys at the end.
Now. We have officially gone through the whole thing. Yeah. We have beaten Ragnarok Battle offline. Ugh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This game is amazing. Honestly, it is. for its time, for when it came out. Why does he keep showing Chris? I don't know. It, no one even likes Chris. But people like the, my arrow shower. No. The people, uh, the like things the you see through here are just... Um, Moments picked. of gameplay through the game. Everybody's character I've ever played. We have... That's uh, that's one of AJ's characters, actually. Yeah. For when we were helping our other characters train up. No, I think those are just... There's Jackson. Characters. And his... It looks like he's throwing face. an enemy up, or he's getting ready to hit with No, hammer. no. He, I think he's getting ready to hit, because throwing the enemy up, uh, he puts his hammer down. He's got to have room to beat them with, after all. That's one of my characters, actually. When I was it, helping... He's so blue. Yeah. Rolling the archer... The, ar the male he's archer's so personality blue. is, uh... He's so awesome, he doesn't even need to use his bow. He doesn't even have to see. <laughs> I said, what's that? Hey, what's that? I'm casting a spell that I didn't use throughout the entire game even once? <gasps> <laughs> There's AJ casting Fireball. What a surprise. <laughs> no one saw me do that throughout the entire no. recording of this. There's me and my waiting. With my blank face. With your angry Ish. face, because this game is serious business. Serious business. Very serious. And there's me, probably watching Chris recover. <laughs> and being annoyed. <laughs> and the town's guardman, too. I urge everyone to play this game. Absolutely. 100% of the way through. Now. And that's me. With a Sohi. Every character gets their own ending picture. Yep. And I think the um, male swordsman gets Mu or Mugun or um, what's her face? I. I forgot. Moonak, while the female gets Bonga, I think. Huh. Well, there's Arena awesome. mode now. Yeah. Yep, we're still not done with the game, though. We've still got uh, Arena mode and Extra Stage 9. Wait, there's a 9? Yes, there is. I didn't know that there was a 9. You accomplish getting Extra Stage 9 by beating the game with the novices. All eight stages of the novices. So Ooh, beat the entire yeah. game with every single character. <laughs> Well, we've done half of them. Although, I don't think extra stages count, do they? No, the extra stages do not count. Okay. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye now. Uh, bye! bye. <laughs>